congratulations on yet another amazing series. Um, I gr was gripped immediately uh, from the first episode. So um, I was wondering if you could go into a little bit about where we find your characters in season three, because a lot has gone on. <laughs> and it's a brand new kind of uh, territory. We find Hannah back at the meadows and we're like, damn, she's joined the dark side. And then she gets out her phone and she's texting Marissa. And then we're like, whoa, she's not joined the dark side. <laughs> yeah. And Marissa is pretending to be dead. So she has to be like deep, deep undercover. And we have Carmichael under yeah. our thumb. And we're trying to like take the world apart from the inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's deep espionage shizzles. <laughs> espionage shizzles. Espionage shizzles. It, it, it really is. And it feels a bit like, um, I don't want to say the female version, but the female-led version of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Oh, where ooh. you're trying to like pin all the points. Who's in, who's not, who's bad, who's good. So how Thank you for that reference. That's one of my all-time favorite movies and like one of the best spy movies ever ever made so never seen it oh it's so good i'll watch it you, yeah it's I'll watch it. so wait has it got colin firth in it colin firth uh chris cooper it. i mean it's just like i it, couldn't figure out what was going on it's, <laughs> watch it again it's so I like, stinking good I don't get it it's so good i'll watch it again okay I think now you've done your own version of it, maybe you should go back and revisit it. I didn't understand Hannah either. I don't understand spy <laughs> stuff. I get confused. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you guys have, have had like a, a tempestuous relationship from the beginning and now you're kind of like joined forces. How is it with this new relationship between Hannah and Marissa? Love, hate. Yeah, I mean, we we love each other, and I think I think Hannah and Marissa actually do love each other. But these are not people who have trusting relationships. They don't they don't let yeah. anyone into their circle. Yeah. So um, also, let's not forget that she put babies in a furnace. <laughs> Can we let that go? <laughs> that was a <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> Hey, she's well, good now. She's dealing with her own emotions. She's yeah. really hard. I know, she at is. making up for it. To, to be fair, she's working really, she's really putting in the hours. hours. Yeah. 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 Um, I find it really interesting, this series, because um, I find that even though you guys have got this espionage going on, and you're cool and you're slick and you're like choosing sides, there's a lot of um, uncoming and undoing for both of your characters for different reasons. So for Hannah, she sort of meets someone who opens her world up to normalcy a little bit um, so that her kind of coolness is slipping. And for Marissa, her backstory is causing her to come and done as well. So how is it balancing those different like parts of your characters? You want to go first? Um, yeah, I think Hannah, it's the first time Hannah's had really strong feelings for someone. Mm -hmm. And so that complicates her, like, I'm looking for the word, what's it, like obligations. It complicates like her, I guess mm. her moral obligations to this cause that she's fighting for because there's someone that she really cares about that gets involved and mixed up mm. in it. Yeah. And then for Marissa, she's always been able to just be the smartest person in the room, the most capable, you know, this cool exterior. And then the, this man steps back from her past that is terrifying to her, like on a like cellular level. And, um, and so we get to see her kind of quaking in her boots, which is, I mean, it's very interesting to play. I, I love Calm and Marissa, but I've been doing that, you know, for several seasons. So it's really fun to get to show her, um, her weathered spots, you know. Yeah, it's just it's really interesting to input this vulnerability when you both have to be as cool and calm and collected because of all the stakes that you've got juggling. Yeah. Um, and what is it like having Ray Leo to come in to play this towering figure? I mean, I was really scared. When I first heard that it was Ray Liotta, I was really scared because I'd never met him in person and he's he can be terrifying on film. Um, and then, of course, he's a sweetheart in real life. So that was, you know, that was great. And we had lots of laughs on set. And, and he's also, like, 
been around forever and really good at what he does and um, and is really generous and um, so yes, you know, yeah. win, it was a win-win. He's just a badass. Yeah. <laughs> he sorry, is. he's just fucking. He's sorry, really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah. Amazing. And just going back to um, Hannah's new, the new relationship with the new character, there's a wonderful quote in the first episode, which is, um, I only know how to fight. And now she is being opened up to these experiences that isn't just her fighting and killing. Um, I just wonder if you go a bit more into that and um, how she is opening herself up to the wider world. Um, well, her maternal instincts, I think, kick in with Abbas's kid. Um, I actually had a really sweet relationship with that young actress. She was adorable. Mm -hmm. And I think I think it was intended that their relationship was not so. I think the intention of, of the script was that their relationship is slightly frictious and Hannah doesn't warm to her because she's like, who is this child? But actually it was really nice to just change that a little bit and uh, give her an opportunity to be something that's more loving and warm mm -hmm. and maternal than just this like cold, cool cucumber. Mm. Um, so that was really sweet. Mm. That little girl so sweet. She was adorable. So yeah. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, thank you so much for talking with me today. I can't wait for everyone to see this. Like I said, it's just, it's just such a great spy thriller. Um, had this, this season's become, and you guys are wonderful together. Um, thank you for talking to me today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So nice to meet you. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!